Aloha, Richard Halverson here. Uh, this is ITS148. And uh, today I'm gonna uh, go over assignment two. So let me share my screen. And I'm looking at the assignments page and let's go look at assignment two. All right, in this assignment, we're supposed to implement lab 15.6 binary search. <clears throat> So let's find lab 16.6 binary search real quick. Uh, let me go back to the syllabus and click on the book. And uh, go to 15.6. And uh, I can't remember if I did this yet but maybe I didn't, so I'll just real quickly do it. <clears throat> so I'm supposed to um, complete the recursive binary search function. And uh, the algorithm begins by choosing an index halfway between the lower and upper bounds. And uh, you should uh, go to got to make sure you understand binary search so you can go here and basically you uh, you have this list it's it's ordered so uh, the 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 strategy is to keep looking in the middle of your list and since it's sorted if what you're looking for is less than less than what you see you know you know it's not in the upper half if what you're looking for if what you're looking at if the one item in the middle is is less um, is greater than the item that you're looking at in the middle, then you know that it is in the upper half and you can eliminate the lower half. <clears throat> uh, all right, so, <clears throat> so uh, duplicates are allowed, count the, count the number of calls to binary search and count the number of times the target is compared. Okay, so uh, this is the, uh, okay, so if you input like this string of numbers and then um, you say, well, we'll look for item, look for the index, find the index of the item whose value is two. Then the way the binary search works is first, it's gonna look at this one and it's gonna say, Oh, it's lower than five. So now I know that it's going to be in this lower half. Okay, so then what's the middle? Uh, that would be probably, I don't know, maybe it's three. It's either three or two, maybe it's two and a half. Uh, okay, so three comparisons. So probably found three. And then um, it asks, uh, is it lower or bigger than three? Well, it's lower. So then we can eliminate the upper half. Of, what, of the section we're looking at and we know it's in the lower half and then so the next one it probably looks at is two and it says is a two yes it is and so then what it should output is the index it's index number one because this is index number zero one two three so it's index number one and it took re two recursions because each time it goes and looks at a smaller half that's one more level of recursion and it compared three times it, it uh, it compared the one it's the one it lands on with whether or not the value with the value you're looking for. So in this case, the first time it lands on five, and we're looking for two. So as we say, is so is two less than five, or is it greater than five? Well, it's less than five. So right away we eliminate this whole upper half, and we're now we're just focused on this lower half. So each time you miss you at least cut the set that you're looking for in half. And so if you think about it, um, you know, if it's the first time you're looking, it's a thousand, next time it's 500, next time it's 250, next time it's 125, and it doesn't take very long. It only takes 10 times, 10, 10 um, comparisons uh, of keeping on missing uh, until you either find it or you, or you learn that it's not in there. All right, so, uh, so we're supposed to write this program. Uh, so we're going to write the program up here. Oh, no, we have to declare the global variables. And uh, we're going to have to write out the, 
write out the global variables out here. And uh, index is going to come from returning from our program here. So some someplace down here, we're going to have a return value, and it's going to be the index. And so that's what that's going to be. But we also are going to want to print recursions, and we're going to want to print comparisons. These are two values, the, the two variables that we're going to um, uh, be counting up. And so those, and those are going to be counted inside the, this function, uh, but we're going to want to get at them outside. So those are going to be global variables. So we want to declare global variables here. And I'm just going to say recursions equals zero. And I'm, go and I'm going to say um, uh, uh, comparisons equals zero. So that initializes them. Um, and, uh, and then inside here, the first thing we got to do is we got to say that we're going to be using these global variables. So global re re uh, recursions and global comparisons. And this, this, tells the, this tells the interpreter, the Python interpreter, that if you come across uh, either of these two, we're not talking about new ones that were declare that we're declaring inside this method instead we're talking about some global ones so go go up at least one level to see if they're up there I think, lo, lo and behold <clears throat> they're up here so um <clears> okay <throat> hey, so we've done that uh next thing um let's uh um uh recursion is when it calls itself uh so the way this binary search method works is this is the array this uh, this is the list that we're searching it's, it's already sorted and this is the uh, thing we're looking for and this is uh the boundaries of the section of the list that we're looking at and in the first time we call this the boundaries are the entire list and then we're going to successively cut it in half and cut it in half and cut it in half until we find it or find that it's not in there so this is the uh this is the last one. This is the this is the very last element in the list. This is the very first, the index. Index of the last element in the list, index of the first element of the list. So, so the first time we call binary search, that, that's what we're, what we're gonna call it. But the, um, that's what the, down here they're called arguments. These are the arguments. These are the parameters. And <clears throat> so, um, so we uh, we have called our we have called it. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, increment the recursion level. So right here I can say recursions and add one to recursions. And then um, now um, I've got an I've got a lower and I've I've got a lower index and I've got an upper index. And now I have to find the um, the middle the middle of that. And that would be, does it talk? No, it does it talk about it something. I think it, it, it talks about it in here. Uh, I can open it, this up in a new tab. This explains what I tried to explain. This is a, you know, an animation. By the way, you got to go through all these anyway to get the points. These are free points. Just got to click, 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 and you get the points. Okay, so. Um, uh, this is computing the mid, the middle. So you take the high plus the low divided by two integer divide because you're, you're you're looking for an integer result, and that's what that's the middle. That's the middle index. So let's go back here, and we're gonna figure out what the middle index is. So let's call it um, index. That's the index we're look, gonna look at equals uh, lower plus upper. We can call this mid. Let's call it mid. That's what we called it up in the algorithm up there. Lower plus upper. Um, I'm a minimalist. I don't like putting spaces everywhere. Uh, divided by two. Okay, so we get the integer divide. And that's going to be this in this value mid. It's going to be the one in the middle. And then we're going to see, um, and then we're going to do our com comparisons if the target is equal to, uh, this is the array here, this is the list, excuse me, we're putting Python, nums of mid, if 
if mid happens to be lo and behold the one that we're looking for then we're there so just return that thing return mid and we're done um uh, all right uh, and then but uh, if we're not so lucky, then we're going to check to see if, um, oh, um, okay, as we're looking, as we keep on dividing, we, we, we keep on uh, making the list that we're looking at smaller and smaller because we can't find it, what happens is we either Okay, this is the one we're looking for. This is the key we're looking for. And this is the element in the list that we're looking at. If the element in the list that we're looking at is less than the key value we're looking for, then we know that the key value, if it's in there, is gonna be in the upper half and not the lower half. So we wanna set the low index equal to the middle plus one because it's because because it wasn't the middle one it, it's it's less than it's something greater than the middle one so what we might as well do mid plus one so it's the index uh, one higher so that's that's the new low boundary uh otherwise if it's the opposite it's the it's the higher boundary right? this is it's the higher boundary that gets moved down here it's the lower boundary that gets moved up. This is the higher boundary that's moved down. If it is not, in this particular algorithm, if it is not uh, less than, if it's not greater than, if it's neither of those, well, it must be equal. So then here we are, we found it. So this, this algorithm is written a little bit differently than the, than the one we're typing in here. It doesn't matter, we could, we could type, we could use that one, but I'm doing it a little differently. Okay, LF, so I'm gonna do LF, um, um, nums mid is less than the target, we're calling it target here. If the nums mid is less than the target, that means, uh, that means, that means we got to look in the upper half. So we want to reset the low, lower uh, equals mid plus one. LF uh, nums of mid is greater than the target. That means the target would be in the lower half, which which means we want to bring down the 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 uh, upper um, boundary. So we would say if that's true, forgot to put the colon. That's why it didn't indent when I uh, upper equals mid. I think I'm putting spaces in between my <clears throat> tokens here. Equals mid minus one. Is that right? What does this algorithm say? Yeah, minus one mid is okay. Uh, otherwise, if it's less than, if it's greater than, then, um, oh, 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 I see why we did it the other way. Um, because we have to check to see if it's, uh, that's right, we're not iterating. Um, okay, so, so as we're, um, as we're moving the lower boundary up or moving the upper boundary down, there's gonna be a point where either they, uh, well, there's gonna be a point where they cross, okay? If they cross, then we know it's not in there. So we have to check to see if they have crossed. And so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put right here, right after this one, I'm gonna put an LF uh, lower, is greater than upper. I can do greater than or equal to, can't I? I can do greater than or equal to upper. Because if it's, um, 
if lower is equal to upper, then we're just looking at mid. And if uh, if mid is if the one in the middle is not the target, then we know it's not in there. So so it, so if lower is greater than or equal to upper, uh, return minus one or something. Return we 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 didn't, we, we didn't find it. So return minus one. Is that what I have in my notes? Okay, well, this thing did it differently. Comparing it there and comparing it there. Um, you know, this comparison, counting the comparisons is weird, weird because it's like in this case, if this fails and this fails and this fails, I guess this is always going to pass so we actually could okay so it, it's these are four mutually exclusive results so we can actually take this one off and, and, and call this an else turns out we could do that because if it's not one of the upper three then it definitely has got to be this one but anyway, so if it gets all the way to here, that's three comparisons. But if it gets to here, it's two comparisons. But if it matches it right here, it's one comparison. So um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll let you in on a secret. The greater project um, is um, I not mean sorry the uh, the uh, the greater uh, um, is not um, does not look at the actual comparisons number. It, it just looks looks to see if you have the format there, but it does look at the recursions, number of recursions. And in the second part of this assignment, you're, you're doing an iterative version of this and you're supposed to count iterations. Anyway, um, I wanna see if this works. Oh, I, I still need to count them. Okay, so, so I'm gonna say um, right here, I'm gonna count, I'm gonna say comparison, I do it at the top, comparisons, I'm just gonna say comparisons, plus equals one. And uh, uh, see if it, this is the returns, returns, and then there's gonna be another question here. Uh, at the bottom of this, Okay, if it uh, makes it to here and it makes or makes it to here, uh, then we have not found it yet. So we have to, but we have either, uh, but we have cut this list size in half because we've either, uh, we've either raised up the lower or we've uh, lowered the upper. And so, so that's what this does. And then after that, we, we call binary search again we say return and because the final answer is going to come from binary search, binary search, and we throw in nums again, and we throw in target again, but now we have a new lower and a new upper, and they've been changed, you see. So actually this should work. Uh, so let's see if this does work. I'm going to run this. And I got to figure out how we can get this comparisons number correct. Let me put this here and let me put uh, two. And now I'm going to run the program. What did this say? Three comparisons. Okay. Um, I got to add one more comparison. And um, let's see. Comparison. It makes this comparison, and it's either gonna it's either gonna uh, return right away or it's gonna return right away. 
or it's going to um, do this comparison. OK, OK, if it doesn't do this and doesn't do this. You know, if this is only going to happen once. Well, um, all right, so uh, so if it comes down to here, it, it, it OK, so if it doesn't return, so the vast majority of the time it's going to be down here. And so it does one comparison and it's either going to do this one or this one. So that's that's like one more comparison. So it, so if it reaches this, if it reaches this point, then it has all, it has done one more comparison, which is that right there. So I'm going to increment it one more time here. And this is this is because the, the term comparisons is ambiguous and I got to but I got to figure out what they believe is is the correct answer. Uh, so I'm sort of working it backwards. Let me just run this now and I should get one more. Uh, and so I'm going to try to submit this and see what I get. Oh, I got the right answer. Very good. OK, we're well on our way to doing assignment two. Now that I have a correct answer here, uh, what we're supposed to do in assignment two is to um, get your correct answer Call it main.py and copy the code from this lab and save it and run it. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, and you should be able to run it by, by running it from the terminal. So I'm going to test it from the terminal. You guys have to learn how to test code. I don't, I don't stress that nearly enough. So I'm going to go to cPanel and I'm going to go into file manager. And I go to assignments and I emptied this out earlier. So I'm going to create a new folder called two. And inside two, I'm going to create a file called main.py. And in main.py, I'm going to edit it and go back over to my great solution here. And I'm going to control A, control C, and go over to my main.py and do a right click paste. And there we are. <clears throat> and this should just work. So I'm going to save the changes. And then I'm going to go back to the main C panel panel. And I'm going to scroll down and find terminal. Now, the trouble with this particular terminal link is if I click on it, then it doesn't do a, open up and do a new tab. So I'm going to have to do a right click and open it up into a new tab. And here it is. And this thing pops up. And I should be able to change directory to assignments. And uh, do a ls-l and I see there's my directory number two. And so I should be able to cd into two. And then I do a ls-l and I get, oh look, there's my main program. And now I'm gonna run the main program and I'm going to um, um, run it um using python 3 because this thing defaults to python 2 if you just type python so on the server here you got to type python 3 space main.py and it's sitting there what's what's it waiting for well the first thing it asks for is the the uh the the array First thing it asks for is the array, which it splits up and stores into this. Uh, it's, it, asks this it asks for the, the string of numbers separated by spaces. And this thing uh, does a, um, produces a list where it changes each one of them into an integer from a string, because when you type it in from the keyboard, it's a string that comes in. And this stores it into this list array. So that's the first thing it asks. And the second thing it asks is uh, for the target. Well, guess what? I'm going to just, I'm going to say uh, input, enter, um, list 
of numbers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell me what I want. Enter key, whatever, okay? I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna go back to the terminal and I'm gonna do a control X, no, control C, control C and end it, enter. And now I'm gonna run it again and it asks me. And I'm gonna do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever that was. And I'm gonna put in a three and it says, lo and behold, looks like it works, great. All right, so now that that works, I'm actually going to go and go right over to my um, sp22.its148.com and I'm going to uh, see, so I've got them all set up now up, up, up till number five. This number five is the same number five as a 228 though, so you know, get that done real quick. Um, so, so I got to type in mine is which is Richard one four eight, and the password is. And I can click on um, recursive binary search program. Submit. Hmm. This no. uh, I better not save it because it must be wrong. So I'm going to just don't save and I'm going to go back and uh, shoot skis. Let me try this again. Here, this one. Yeah, let's see if this works. Login failed. Oh, it's, I wonder why my login is failing. I wonder if that was the one I just did. Um, 148C panel, R I C H A Must have typed it in wrong last time. Just goes to show you. So my uh, grader actually logs into your website and runs them and expects things to come back. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's see if I got all the points. I did get all the points, so that's good. Don't really have to do anything, but see here, I tested on it. I upload a list of numbers, look for a key, get something back. And just between you and me, I only look for, I only look for up to here. Uh, same with this one. All right, got all the points, that's very good. Okay, we're, we're well on our way. Let's go back to um, the next part, which is implement iterative binary search. I'm gonna create a main two, and I'm gonna replace the code in the recursive binary search with code for an iterative version. There's an iterative version here in figure 15.2.1, but notice the parameter calls are different. And it does not include the lower and upper index boundaries for searching. Well, we'll fix that. Okay. So I want you to make sure that the parameters are compatible with how binary search is called in um, main.py, I guess. I hope that's what I meant. Anyway, um, instead of counting recursions, count iterations, and then replace the word recursions with the, with the word iterations. Uh, let me look, up. I wanna see my notes here, because. All 
I did something wrong, didn't I? Okay, um, I'm gonna check this and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then I know why, because I, I messed up. I went and I think I made it so my binary search program works this way. And I can't remember if I actually test your program. It's, so anyway, um, if it doesn't work, then I'm just gonna pause this video and go and change it so it does work. Okay, so, uh, and, I'll, and you'll see, if, we'll see if I have to do that. So, so let's go ahead and um, go to the file manager and I have to create a, uh, well, I'm going to just create a copy. Right click, right click, copy, and I'm going to call it slash main 2.py. And so now I have a copy. I'm going to edit this. And um, this is what it looks like. So I have to replace all this code with an, a non iterative version of it. I mean, an iterative version, and it tells me that I have to go to, um, where did I where did it say it was? 15.2.1, oh, 15.2. Wait a second. Um, was I supposed to put a recursive version back, back there? I mean, I don't test for that. Was this supposed to be a recursive version? I think this was supposed to be a recursive version. Oh. No, it was, I did write a recursive version. Yeah, uh, this is a, re um, check this for a second. It is a recursive version because it's calling itself. But um, okay, yeah, it is okay. So, all right, um, right. So, uh, so to make this not make this a non not a recursive version, I put a I have to put a, a loop, and this is a loop. And each time the um, lower and the upper get closer and closer. So I got to do something like, um, um, okay, this is going to be iterations. And it's going to be, uh, put the while loop here. While um, lower is uh, less than or equal to upper, I guess. And let's just uh, write that. And um, um, nums um, all right. Um, I don't think I need to add this here yet. While, while the lower is still less than or equal to the upper, um, I got to compute a mid. I got to compute the mid, increment the comparisons, do this. That works. Because I'm just returning the index, right? Yeah, I'm just returning the index. Um, or if um, I don't need this because I'm going to test for that later. I test for that up here. Um, so either I either return the mid or I lower the lower or, or upper the up and or I either um, raise up the lower or I bring down the upper. And um, I'm going to uh, and 
when I'm done, okay, get rid of this. When this while loop is done, when this while loop is done, if it makes it all the way to the, if it, if it, if it goes all the way to the point where these two cross, where upper becomes less than lower because of one of these executing, then we would return minus one because we didn't find it. We return minus one if we don't find it. Okay, so this is what I think the answer is, but I actually don't think it will accept this answer. Oh, I got to change this to uh, iterations, change compare, uh, change re recursions to iterations. All right, now, um, I'm sure that when I run this, it works. Let me see. Main two. Yeah, it works, but uh, I don't think the test is gonna work. So hold on here, let's see if it does. Let's see if it does, doesn't work. This is apparently wrong. See, in my notes, <clears throat> in my notes, I actually changed this down here and just, uh, and didn't include a, a lower, lower and an upper. So what does this say? Okay, yes, I didn't. Expected index iterations. Oh, I'm not, I'm not counting iterations. Look, I put iterations plus one there. Iterations has to be down here where it's iterating. <laughs> yeah, of course. All right, so let's fix that. That's right. I don't test that because in this, in this um, problem, I don't test your method directly, do I? I was going to. Test it a different way. I think that's why. I'm actually able to. I have a test to see if a to test to see if a if an algorithm is recursive or not. And I was going to use that on this, but I don't. I think I think I decided not to. So it doesn't matter. It just has to calculate the right answer. Um, so uh, I need to put. Uh, Oh, wrong one. I need to put this count inside here. Now let's see if it works. Part of the reason why I sit here and um, you know I could easily cut this portion out of the video, but I want you to know that it takes this long because if it's taking a long time and you're going like, well, it's not working, uh, that's why. All right, did I get all the points? Yeah, I did get all the points. Okay, so I guess it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'll let you in on a secret. It doesn't matter if you have the parameters this way where you include the upper and the lower, but then you include it down here in the 
in the uh, upper and the lower. Uh, but if we, you actually copy, if you copy like this algorithm here, you notice there's not an upper and a lower. The, uh, the upper and the lower are computed on the inside, computed once it comes in. And um, so uh, you could do this. You could take this here. And uh, go lower equals zero, and upper equals the length of nums minus one, because it's actually going to be an index to something. And then you can just take this out. See this here? right up there, put that right up there, take this out, and it should also run. So anyway, uh, that concludes assignment two. So I hope this helps and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.